god! Hello and welcome to Port Aventura World in Salou in Spain. My name's Matt, this is the Coaster Giant channel and here's what's coming up in today's vlog. First up today we're going out on Uncharted, which is a new Intamin multi-dimension coaster that has been added since I last visited. They just started construction on this last time, they just cleared all the land. And it's all in it's an indoor coaster basically, and it's all in this impressive rockwork building. I like it. This was just empty space last time. <laughs> Bien, equipo, os hemos reunido a todos para que nos ayudéis a encontrar y reunir el canal. Al presionar dos puntos en vez, después de unos que van... We're finally there. After six rooms and a very long queue, it's time to get on. So Uncharted is a 1.3 height limit and there's a maximum height as well of 195 so you just have to watch that if you come. I am 195 so I was okay. Um, I was really surprised by that. The queue line is amazing. It goes on a long time. It's uh, six different rooms. They're all really well themed like the floor, the walls, the lighting, the audio. There's even some smells in there as well. So it was like almost a pleasure to queue in. We did queue for an hour and uh, 40 minutes which was a long time. Um, but yeah, so the queue line was really good, and I've heard people say the queue line's good, so I was expecting that. But the coast itself was amazing. Like, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it at all. Um, I think it was really clever. It's the first uh, multi-dimension coaster I've done, so they took me by surprise. We were like, launching sideways, there was screens in there, there was more theming than I was expecting. We did a backwards drop. I'm well impressed with that. It's way better than I imagine it would be based on what everyone else has said. Okay, so this trip's going to be all about doing stuff I didn't do last time. It's going to be a lot more chilled than last time as well. This flat ride was closed and it's only got a little queue, so hopefully we'll get on this cycle. So don't go on that one expecting a Super Bowl type experience. It was very slow, quite a relaxing ride, um, but not exactly a thrill flat ride. Um, we're going to grab a drink now and head into Tempo del Frigo. I don't think that was running last time I was here because it was like just after Covid times. So I think it's, um, it's a show involving fire, that's pretty much all I know. So we're going to check it out. Character meet and greet are out, we just met Woody. Okay, let's do this. Taking a drink in, refillable cups are €4.70. I mean, it's €3.70 every time you want a drink after that in your refillable cup.
god! <laughs> what? The Temple de Frego was incredible. Quite a lengthy pre-show, most of it was in Spanish, but you got the gist of what was going on. There was the odd English word dropped in there. Um, it was a single actor that led the whole thing. And then the second room was, um, that was the incredible bit. It was um, fire effects, water effects, stuff popping out the water. Um, and then at the end, as you probably heard on the audio but didn't see, the floor kind of drops a little bit whilst you stood there. Didn't know what to expect with any of that, so it was all a total surprise. I loved it. Don't miss it if you come to Port Ventura. I didn't do it last time, and I regret it. And here's that view. Probably the best view in any theme park, I think. Okay, next up we're going on Shambhala and Dragon Car. And they're both posted on like 20 minute waits, so it is very quiet here today. April, mid-April is a very good time to come if you don't want to have to buy fast tracks and get on all the rides pretty quickly. And still get gorgeous weather here in Spain. Okay, let's get Dragon Khan. B&M sit down coaster. It's only on a 20 minute wait. It's one of the originals, it was built in 1995. So loads of people say that Dragon Khan's rough. We just got given a back row and I was worried for Claire. Because I do remember a rattle last time, but today there was nothing. It was really smooth, like classic B&M smooth. It was really good. Um, there was a lot of forces on it. There's a couple of the, um, there's eight inversions on there. And after a couple of them, when they go really low to the ground, you really feel it in your head, which is always good. And we only waited 20 minutes. The good thing today, there's not many fast passes in use. So I think the whole time, the 20 minutes we waited, there was only three people went in the fast pass queue which is massively different to how Port Aventura used to be. And it just means that the queues are moving really fast. I guess they're not selling as many because the park isn't as busy as it is in the high season. So um, just another advantage of coming in April. Okay, we're now heading straight around to Shambhala. It's only posted it 30 minutes at the minute. So not a bad wait at all. Um, yeah, Dragon Khan feels really tall. And that's just under 150 foot. Shambhala is nearly 250 foot. So a whole 100 feet higher. <sighs> I'm weirdly nervous for this. I loved it last time I was here and we, um, we did quite a few rides on it, but all of a sudden I feel very nervous to be up there again. It's down to 20 minutes now. so good to get back on that. I was actually nervous as well, like started crapping my pants on the lift hill. It's really quite windy here today and when you're 250 foot up in the air, it's really windy. Um, I actually gave myself an extra click and started holding on to the clamshell restraints because I was uh, very nervous. But as soon as I was over the top, my hands were up and um, it was exactly the same coaster that I remember. Loads of air time, loads of floating air time. Um, just a really fun coaster, really smooth as well. We got. I was on second from back, Claire got back row. Um, it's just stunning. It's just about to come round as well. So we decided to head to some... Okay, we're having a really nice chill day today. We're gonna get some food now. We're all hungry. It's three o'clock already, it's gone really fast. We just had to, like, one of the moments that you'll never repeat. We create, we were watching, live streaming, the first test run of Piperia at Fort Park in the queue lamp Shambhala. And then it was our turn to get on and it still hadn't gone. But we got off just in time. About two minutes after we got off, we sat down with our phones on and watched Hyperia testing for the first time and it looks amazing. So that's um, like one of the moments that I'll never forget in a theme park is watching that test whilst I'm here. Right, food time. So we're heading into Bora Bora. And she's just next to Tatiki Splash. Looks like they've got actual like salad and vegetables on the menu in here. 
So here's a quick look at the menu. That's focused. It's quite a lot to choose from. They also do meal deals as well, where you get a starter, a main, a dessert, and a drink for 21 euros. Well, 21.90. So yeah, quite a lot for 20 euros, really. So it's genuinely really nice. I'd recommend it. I had noodles with chicken, some vegetables in there as well, and a yard of Estrella. And it was 17 euros. So the food was about 10 euros 50, I think it was. Um, but like, yeah, really tasty, really fresh, really nice. Um, better than a burger and chips. So I'd recommend that place. So even though it is now the middle of April, the park's still in full on Easter mode. Okay, after that lovely food, this is the ride I'm most excited for Claire's reaction on. Sesame Street Street Mission. I loved this last time. I think it was my first ever trackless dark ride. And it had a great queue line. Just in time. Keep watching. I love that. I would say that's my favourite trackless dark ride, I think. I love the interaction, I love the set pieces, I love the screens, I love the quality of the scre screens, I love the queue line, and I just like the happy vibe of it. There's the smell pods and everything in there are amazing. I just, um, yeah, I remember loving that and I, I really do. Just had a little trip on the train. It's a good trade. It takes you around really nice areas of the park where you can't walk, which is always good to see. And uh, I really like the way the audio changes as you go between the different lands. It was good. Don't miss out on that one. Now it's time for Tomahawk, another coaster. This one's a wooden one. It is classed as a junior coaster. It's got quite small trains. I remember it was quite tight to fit in last time. But I'm pretty sure I rated this higher than Stampeda. So let's see how it rides now. Okay, Tomahawk, nice little family coaster, nice and smooth. As nice as I remember. It's nice, it's just nice. And we did the carousel. And now, we're gonna do Uncharted again. We wanted to do it a couple of times today, so we haven't got to worry about doing it tomorrow. This morning we waited 140 minutes for this, because we wanted to get the ride. And uh, if you want to queue it, um, if you want to get in the queue for the end of the day, the queue actually shuts at half five. So, it's gone very dark. Oh, no queue in here, this is a nice view. Amazing. So yeah, you have to be in the queue half an hour before the park closes. Thank God. It's empty in here. So that was probably an hour's worth of queue. So hopefully it's about 50 minutes, so hopefully not much longer than that. Okay, there's no one down here. Oh, I don't want to see the back of the queue yet. Oh. That's not bad. Yeah, halfway. That's cut out at least an hour. And that's it from a windy Port Aventura. That's day one done. But we have got a second day here tomorrow, so I'm not going to give you loads of thoughts on this apart from. I think last time I come, I was so like focused on getting on all the rides and all the coasters and like hoping that everything lived up to the hype um, that I was just really focused on that and whereas today I really just like actually just sat back and enjoyed the park and realized 
how nice it is. Like the theming is incredible. It's a beautiful place. Highly recommend it. But I'll give you my final thoughts after the day two vlog, which will be coming soon on the channel. So if you want to check that out and you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the day two vlog. Thanks for watching.